My background growing up that has impacted me the most is really the risk aversion mindset of my parents. Despite being immigrants and taking the biggest risks that anyone could have taken in the world to be in this country, they expected me to live life the safe way. So to not do anything that was out of the ordinary and to not do anything that would make me exceptionally successful, but just moderately successful. And I've really worked hard throughout my life to change that mindset. And one of the ways that I have been able to do that is to continuously push myself out of my comfort zone. Because I believe that when you're uncomfortable, that is when you are able to grow. And so last year, signing up for a triathlon as a forcing function to learn how to swim was one way that I pushed myself into the uncomfortable zone. I've always had a fear of water, and I train five days a week, four days with a dear friend who coached me personally, and then one day by myself. And every time I stepped into the pool, I was literally living in my fear. And each time there was a hesitation. And that pause is the pause that many people take before they take action in life because there's this a period in your head where you're ruminating over, oh, should I do it, should I not, what's going to happen if I do? And the more I train, the more that hesitation period decreased. And eventually I was able to dive into the water, swim half a mile in open water in a lake in upstate New York, and finish. 40 minutes, but I finish. And every time you have experiences like that, you break out of what you think you can do, and you break out of what you think is safe or risky, um, and you continue to redefine that for yourself over and over and over again. Um, as female entrepreneurs, they experience this every time they have a conversation. When you're an entrepreneur, you start with an idea, and that idea means nothing to anyone except you until you can convince someone else that it matters. And that, that point from just an idea to it matters is a big step for a lot of people. And if you can't overcome the uncomfortable conversations that you have to have, the rejections, the negative feedback, the this is a stupid idea conversations, your idea will continue to be just an idea. And so this is why I believe that everyone, especially those who are risk averse, need to train themselves to be uncomfortable because ultimately when we're living in our fear, that's when we're operating at our highest potential. And then lastly, I'll mention that every year I also do a marathon because every time I cross the finish line, I have a broadened perspective of the world and I have a new set of possibilities for myself. At first it was just completing one marathon and then it was doing you know, one marathon in different cities in the US and then it was multiple countries, and now it's completing a marathon on every continent. And so our vision for ourselves continues to broaden and expand as much as we allow ourselves to. And so my parents' vision for me, while great and safe and would have led me to a great life, is not the vision that I believe I, am, uh, I have the p potential to fulfill as uh, an American, as a Asian American woman who is leading a movement for female entrepreneurs around the world.